In this video, we will see the different data types available in Python. Python data type is used to define the data type of a variable. It defines what type of data or value we are going to store inside the variable. Python has many built-in data types as you can see in the diagram. It has number, string, dictionary and sequence. And in the number, you have four different types. You have integer, float, complex, and boolean. And in the sequence, you have three types that is string, list, and tuple. So, let us discuss the H data type one by one. First, we will see the integer. Integer is a numeric data type, it contains the full number without the decimal point. For example, x equal to 10, or it can be 28. It is any number that doesn't have a decimal point. So on the other hand, if you look at the float, you will have a decimal value that is 15.9 or it can be anything like 78. Any number followed by the decimal point. This is the float data type. And the next one is the complex. In complex, you have two parts, the real part and the imaginary part. Here, 10 plus. 5j. In the mathematics, you will write 10 plus 5i, but in the Python, we will use j instead of 5. So, here 10 is the real part and 5j is the imaginary part. This is all about the complex. And the next is the Boolean. Boolean has two values it can be either true or it can be false. For example, t equal to true or it can be false. These are all the two values that are available in boolean. You can check the data type of these variables using the type function. For example, I am going to print. So inside the print type of x, if you use the type function, it will return the data type of the variable. For example, type of x. So let's run now. As you can see, it belongs to the class of integer. So let's check the data type of this complex. So, type of z. So, let's save this and run now. As you can see, it belongs to class of complex. Now, let us see the type of boolean now. So, type of t is equal to, as you can see, it belongs to the class of boolean. These are all the data types that are available under the number data type. Now, let us move on to the sequence. In sequence, you have three data types available that is string and list and tuple. So let us discuss the string now. String is a sequence of characters for example x equal to hello. Here hello is a string because it is the sequence of five characters and it is enclosed within the double quotation or single quotation. Here I am using the double quotes. You can use the single quotes if you want. So you can replace the double quotes with the single quotes as well. You can access the individual elements of your string using the index number. For example, this hatch has index number of 0. Remember that the index number of string always starts from 0. And E has 1 and L has 2 and this L has index number 3 and O has index number 4. You can access the first character of this string using, the, using its index number. So I am going to print x of inside this square bracket you pass the sequence number for the character you want to access. For example the index number of this hatch is 0. So print of x of 0. This should return as h. As you can see it displays h. If you want to access e then pass its index number. e has index number 1. So x of 1. As you can see it returns e. You can also access the same value using the negative index as well. For example, 0 has negative index of minus 1 and this L has minus 2 and this L has minus 3 and E has minus 4 and H has minus 5. For example, if you want to access the E using the negative index, you will use the minus 4. So X of minus 4, it will return E as you can see. Here we have E here. So this is all about the brief overview of string. 
Now let us move on to the string. String data type in Python is enclosed by a square bracket. Inside the square bracket, you will have different data type items separated by commas. Python list is very similar to arrays in C except that in arrays in C, the elements in the array should have the same data type. But in the Python, you can have different data types. For example, I am going to define a list here. So list1 equal to, you will use the square bracket for list and inside this I am going to have 1 and hello. As you can see, this list contains two data types. This one is a integer and this hello is a string data type. This is what I mean by the list can contain different data types. So in array you can't do that. Array contains the same data type. So this is the difference between the list and the array. You can also access the individual elements of this list using this index number just we have seen for the string. So the first element contains the index number 0 and this hello contains the index number 1. So print of list 1 of use the square bracket here as well and pass the index number for the value you are trying to access. For example if you want to access hello and it has an index number 1 so list of 1 if you run it now as you can see it displays hello and the another thing about list is that you can change the value of your element inside the list for example if you want to change the hello to high you can use its index number so list of and the square bracket inside the square bracket just pass the value that you want to change its index number so list of 1 is equal to now type the new value list of 1 equal to high so let's print our list now to see how it looks like as you can see the value has been updated this is all about the list now let us move on to tuple tuple is very similar to list and it has here elements inside the parenthesis that is tuple 1 equal to parenthesis of and you will have elements separated by commas so you have one and you have hello this is very similar to list and the difference is that you cannot change the value in tuple for example if you try to change the value in tuple you will get a error like this for example I am, I am trying to change the first value to 10 so if I save this and run now, you will type that you will get a type error as you can see tuple object does not support item assignment this is the major difference between the list and tuple so now let us move on to dictionary dictionary is another data type where you will have key value pair and you will separate each key by a comma so the key value pairs are enclosed within a curly brace for example dictionary this is the variable name is equal to open and close curly brace and inside this you will have a key and colon value so this is the syntax key value and the value can be anything it can be string or it can be numeric data type so let's create here one key value pair now so I have one and its value will be one so let's create another one two and its value will be two it can be anything so let's type and its value will be two 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 I have defined many twos here so this is the dictionary we have defined you can access the values of the key using the index or you can use a get method for example dictionary of inside this inside this square bracket just pause the key name if you want to access these key values use the key name so dictionary of one so let's print it it should return the value of this key one so let's print it now as you can see it displays the value so let's change this to high so let's print the dictionary of key two it should give us the value high as you can see high you can also use the get method to get the 
same value so inside this dot get just pass the key name for example 2 as you can see it give us the same result of 5 and the major difference between this get method and the accessing using index is that if you try to access a key that is not defined you will get a error as you can see key error you will get a key error but if you use the get method you will not get any error it, it just gives none this is the difference between accessing using the index and get method so this is all about the dictionary in briefly now let us move on to set set is very similar to tuple except that it is enclosed within the curly brace and it does not contain the duplicate values for example set 1 equal to it is enclosed within the curly brace it does not contain the duplicate values for example you have two four here and two high let's print it now what it will give us so print of one as you can see it removes the duplicate value so this is the set do not allow the duplicate values so this is all about the set data type so now we have covered all the different data types available in python in the next video we will see the operators